Thank you for the days. Those endless Ten years on, it's hard to believe that's when Ronnie McFall made the journey from Glen Torren to his hometown of Portadown. This afternoon, still recovering from an Achilles tendon injury, McFall can take a great deal of pride as he surveys Shamrock Park, just one ground where he's tested success over the past decade. It's a long time, Adrian, as I said, uh, I remember, as I said, uh, when I took over the club ten years ago, they were bottom of, bottom of the Irish League, and the uh, first game I played was uh, Crusaders at Seavey, which was 1-2-1, one, one. and basically the first six months of the initial start was basically just assessing what we had and taking it from there. It took McFall four years to bring his team into the fast lane of success, but a total of 14 trophies have followed since. Trophies that included three league titles and a double. Very special achievements in any sporting career. Well, one of the biggest highlights Adrian, was winning the league for the first time here because uh, round poor down had been the sort of gypsies course and would never won a major trophy. So obviously, you know, breaking that hoodoo and, and winning, it, winning that championship the initially to start with. And then the following season, we've done the double. And last year, of course, we won the inaugural Premier League Championship, uh, beating Glenelg here in the second last game of the season. It was obviously a big boost for everyone at the club. Whenever well, you look at the 10 years, would it be wrong to ask you to name, let's say, one player who stood out, or even a couple? Well, I think that's been very difficult, Adrian, as I said, with some exceptional players here. I mean, uh, basically, if you look at the players, I mean, Mickey Keenan was here when I came, and he's been a tremendous servant to the club. Uh, Stan and Stewart have given the club tremendous service. Uh, Stevie Cran, probably in mean, the first year we won the league, I mean, uh, Marty McGee got suspended during the Kirk Rangers with the Leslie headbutt and the linesman and we brought Stevie Cannon and basically the rest is all history from there. Well, ten years on, McFall, like everyone else, is feeling the pressure. The new look Premier, he feels, hasn't delivered all the hopes and expectations predicted and he feels there has to be change. I think it's basically dog eat dog and there's a fear factor in there and as I think as an entertainment uh, value that, that, that has went back. A checkered career all round for a man who has played his part on the local spring front. A time for celebration tonight and perhaps the fans should pause and remember just what Ronnie McFall has done for Portadown. Days when you can't see wrong from right You took my life But then I knew